A lot of times in civil engineering, we want to dimension a line with both extension lines suppressed. And I have a dimension style that does that. Maricopa County Planning and Development wants to know how far buildings are from property lines. So I use DA, my shortcut for dimension aligned, dim aligned, from the end point of the outside of the building to perpendicular to the property line at that same end point of the outside of the building. And then I do the same thing for the other end of the outside of the building. End point, perp, end point. And then I can erase the shortest one. I mean the longest one, because they want to know how far the building is, so we need to keep the shortest one. They also want to know how far the septic tank is from the building, so I dimension aligned from the outside of the building end point to the septic tank end point at the septic tank end point. They also want to know how far the septic system is from a well, so I dimension aligned using DA from the center of the well to the end point of the septic field at the end point of the septic field. Since when I'm in power drafting mode, I turn off autocomplete, autocorrect, and searching content. And since dim aligned is a pretty long thing to type, I need to define my shortcut for dim aligned as DA. And I do that by editing this file, find file acad.pgp. Oops, I need to have an open parentheses there. Find file acad.pgp. I need to edit that file, which I will do using the CNM toolbar edit PGP. At the end of this file, control end key, I can find that I have defined DA as the dim aligned command under the user defined aliases section of my ACAD.pgp. If you edit ACAD.pgp, you have to use the reinit command to reload it. If I had to do that initially, I'd type reinit the PGP file. That keeps me happy so I can invoke DA easily. My OSNAPs I use happily by defining function keys so that when I hit F4 I get, well that was F3, when I hit F3 I get C E N. When I hit F4 I get E N D P. When I hit F9 I get near, and when I hit F12, I get perp, P-E-R-P -E space. Of course, another option for OSNAPs is to set your running OSNAPs carefully, and the important thing either way is to make sure you are aware and in control of what OSNAPs are set and that you ensure that you have a system that prevents accidentally picking without an OSNAP. The advantage of explicit OSNAPs is that you will not get a point if you don't get an OSNAP. If I try to draw a line from the end point of this line and I miss it, it will say it didn't find an end point. If I do that again, end point, It'll keep telling me it didn't find the endpoint until I get an endpoint. So I know for sure that I got an endpoint, which is nice. I also am able to pick far away from that endpoint so that I know I got the right endpoint versus having to pick 
near the endpoint where I might accidentally, if I'm zoomed out, get something else. But if I pick far away from it, I know I got the right endpoint, even if I'm zoomed far out. If I want to save one more click, I can use the CNM DM command that asks me what entity I want to dimension from, and I, it's offering me a near OSNAP. I'm going to change it to the endpoint since I need the endpoint of the outside of the building. Then it offers automatically the perp. So I pick, oops, I got the wrong perp. Let's do it again. From the endpoint of the outside of the building to perp, and it offers to help me add some text to the dimension, but I just hit enter twice. But I don't have to pick that endpoint again, which is kind of nice. Uh, that's uh, included in CNM, which is an open source package I, I wrote uh, in the last several, a few decades. And that's all for efficient and accurate civil engineering dimensions in AutoCAD.